Welcome to the Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy. My name is Henner, this is my brother Hiron, and we are third generation members of the Gracie family. In the late 1920s, our grandfather, Ed Liu Gracie, created Gracie or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu after he realized that he was physically too weak to utilize the traditional Japanese Jiu Jitsu techniques. After years of refinement, he was able to prove the effectiveness of his system by using it to defeat several opponents who outweighed him by as much as 100 pounds. In 1978, our father, Hardion Gracie, left Brazil and came to America with nothing but a black belt and a dream to share Gracie's Jiu-Jitsu with the rest of the world. Fifteen years later, in 1993, he created the Ultimate Fighting Championship with the objective of showing people just like you that the only way for the average person to defeat a larger, more athletic opponent was with the leverage-based techniques of Gracie's Jiu-Jitsu. This was accomplished when his brother Hoist defeated three opponents in the same night to become the first ever UFC champion, even though he was the smallest of all the participating fighters. From an early age, Hiron and I realized that the objective of our family could be broken down into three phases. Phase one was accomplished when our grandfather created Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Phase two was accomplished when our father showed the world the necessity for the techniques. And now it's time for phase three, and that is to teach the essentials of Gracie Jiu Jitsu to the world. And that's exactly what Hiro and I were born to do. <laughs> By starting the global training program, you are now an official student of the Gracie Academy. And we're proud to say that your home is now a branch of our school. One thing that our grandfather and our father told all of their students, and therefore we must tell you, is that there is absolutely no such thing as a bad student. There are good teachers and there are bad teachers. And since we happen to be the best teachers in the world, you're going to learn this stuff no matter what. So basically, if you don't learn, it's our fault. According to our grandfather, a blue belt should be awarded to anybody who can effectively defend themselves against a larger opponent in a real street fight. And because the techniques in this course are designed exactly for that purpose, once you perfect them, you will be prepared to take the blue belt qualification test we've included at the end of the course. And the best part is, you can film yourself conducting the test and then send us the video either in the mail or by uploading it to the internet where it can be viewed and evaluated by one of our certified instructors. And if you pass the test, you will be awarded an official Gracie Jiu Jitsu blue belt and your name will be added to the list of certified belt holders. The entire promotion process is broken down in great detail at the end of the course and is also available on our website. Right now, let's focus on what you'll be learning and how you can get the most out of each lesson. Although Gracie Jiu Jitsu consists of over 600 techniques, studies have shown that only a handful of these techniques are necessary to achieve victory in most street fights. A detailed analysis of the fights that members of our family have been in has shown that 36 techniques have been used more often and with greater success than all the other techniques combined. Soon after these studies were conducted, we realized that the fastest way to effectively prepare a new student to defend themselves in, real, in a real street fight situation was to focus entirely on teaching them these 36 essential techniques. And this realization led to the birth of the Gracie Combatives Program. Today, Gracie Combatives is the most popular program here at the Gracie Academy. The techniques featured in the course have been adopted by the U.S. Army, the Navy SEALs, Secret Service, FBI, and countless law enforcement agencies throughout the world. Every month, thousands of people visit our website looking for a certified Gracie Combatives training center in their community. But unfortunately, the number of students far outweighs the number of certified instructors. And this is exactly what inspired us to put the entire course on DVD in the exact same format that you would experience with Hiron or myself here at the Gracie Academy. What makes this course so valuable is that it's taught under the premise that you have absolutely no previous experience. So therefore, you will never feel left behind. And for those of you with martial arts experience, you can trust that these lessons will serve as the perfect complement to your existing knowledge. And for anyone aspiring to be a mixed martial artist, you can use them to learn the techniques that no cage fighter should be without. Besides saving money on gas and tuition expenses, the best part about the Global Training Program is that you can complete all the lessons in the comfort of your own home and at your own pace. We recommend that any new student train at least twice a week to decrease the chance of forgetting their techniques in between lessons. Each lesson includes 15 to 30 minutes of instruction. 
So depending on how thoroughly you intend to master the techniques, you can expect anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes of training time or mat time per lesson. In each of the 36 lessons featured in this course, we include specific instruction on how to practice the techniques with a partner, as well as the solo preparation drills you should use to practice the techniques when you are alone. Although you can learn the techniques and understand the movements with the solo preparation drills, the fact of the matter is you can only build true reflexes and earn your blue belt by practicing with another person. When searching for a partner, you want to find someone who is as committed to perfecting the techniques as you are. You want someone who will work with you rather than against you during each training session. Our secret to building street ready reflexes in so little time lies in the order in which we present the techniques and in the unique lesson format that has been perfected by our family over the last three generations. Just as a pizza can be sliced to be eaten more easily, a complex technique can be sliced to be learned more effectively by a new student. Having taught these techniques to countless students all over the world, we understand precisely how much information can be included in a presentation so that you do not feel overwhelmed. Each of the 36 lessons in this course features one technique which has been broken down into as many as five simple drills or slices. Once you perfect each slice individually, you will be ready to conduct a reflex development drill. We use slices to simplify and break down the techniques, and we use reflex development drills to put everything back together. Each lesson includes one of these drills in which we practice all variations of the newly learned technique in combination with one of the previously learned techniques. Learning how to execute each move individually is one thing. Perfecting all the techniques in every possible combination is another. And that is what the fight simulation drills are for. Starting at lesson three, each lesson also includes one of these special drills in which the newly learned technique is included in a very carefully scripted sequence along with six to eight previously learned techniques. Now because each fight simulation drill was specifically designed to simulate a sequence of movements or pattern of events that would very likely happen in a real street fight, perfecting them is the key to developing reflexes that will serve you in combat. At the end of each lesson, we'll take a minute to discuss the most important mental and physical details of the technique and that technique's application in a real street fight. Although the Gracie combative techniques are based on natural body movements and are very low impact, as with any athletic activity, there is a chance of injury. So before you begin the course, it's not a bad idea to seek approval from a physician that you are healthy enough to practice martial arts. Before each lesson, we recommend that you warm up. And a great way to warm up is to practice some of the previously learned techniques in super slow motion. And if ever you're going through the techniques in a lesson or you're practicing them, and so the movement feels awkward or uncomfortable or like it's taking too much strength to make work, chances are you're doing the move wrong. So if this happens, go back, watch the video again, pay close attention to the details and your problem should be solved. When practicing with a partner, the most important thing is that you share the cooperative mindset. The two of you are working with each other to master the techniques rather than competing against one another to see who's tougher. All the techniques and drills should be practiced in super slow motion so that it's impossible for you to make a mistake and not realize it. Speed is a result of practice. And the most important safety tip while you're practicing is of course the tap out. Anytime your partner is caught in a technique or you're caught in a technique, one should tap out on your partner and of course they should be released. When dealing with submissions, pressure should be applied so slowly that it's impossible for any accidents to occur. And if you're the one getting caught in the technique, it's not a bad idea to tap out before the pain kicks in so you don't experience any lasting harm. And make sure you advise every new training partner of how the tap out works. So when you're caught in the arm lock and you tap, they know when to let go. 
because the techniques in this course are specifically designed to counter the most common attacks that you would experience against an untrained larger opponent in a real street fight, when practicing the techniques, it's extremely important that the person behaving as the attacker knows how to behave as a good bad guy. In each lesson, we've included bad guy reminders so that you know what to do to make sure the drill goes as smoothly and as realistically as possible. Whenever you're learning a technique for the first time, you and your partner have to do everything possible to help each other. Focus entirely on learning the steps, perfecting each individual step. And only once the steps become second nature should the resistance increase just a little bit. And because we're not there to coach you in person, it's extremely important that you and your partner give each other feedback every step of the way. So in a sense, you are each other's coaches. To qualify for your blue belt, you must master each variation of the 36 Gracie combative techniques individually and in every possible combination with one another. To accomplish this, dedicate yourself to each lesson wholeheartedly and execute each drill until it becomes second nature. When you think you're ready, test your skills by conducting the five blue belt qualification drills featured at the end of this course. A great way to test your comprehension of a technique is to practice it on both the left and right side. Some moves are so simple that you'll be able to do that right away. Others will take more time. Either way, you haven't fully learned the technique until you can execute it comfortably on both sides. Watch each lesson as many times as it takes to fully understand the content. And if you ever feel like you've completely forgotten a technique, your best bet is to spend a day reviewing and relearning it before moving on to the next lesson.